then, the, of course, there was the, the, the randomized phase three registration study, uh, Radiant 3. Uh, John, you, I believe, participated in that study. I want to take us through those results a little bit and how it's impacted uh, treatment. Sure. Uh, Radian 3 was a phase 3 trial of everolimus versus placebo in patients with progressive pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, it met its primary endpoint, which was progression-free survival. It increased from roughly four and a half months to about 11 months. Uh, highly statistically significant, the hazard ratio was about 0.3. Um, interestingly, there, there has been no, been no difference in overall survival, although this was a crossover trial. So patients on placebo did cross over and um, and uh, the majority on placebo ended up receiving everolimus. Um, as far as toxicity is concerned, uh, the main ones were um, uh, mouth sores, apithecinitis, um, sometimes skin rash, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia. Uh, everolimus is an immunosuppressant, so um, patients uh, occasionally develop atypical infections, things like aspergillus or uh, uh, PCP, although that's you know, fairly rare. Uh, and there's also a rare incidence of uh, pulmonary pneumonitis, uh, non-infectious lung inflammation that can be quite serious. Uh, but for the most part, everolimus is a, you know, a fairly well-tolerated drug. And Diane, in your experience, have, have you had good luck with everolimus in terms of side effects or efficacy? <clears throat> yeah, no, I, you know, in pancreatic neuronicone tumors, um, we've had some really um, nice responses. Um, the side effects are, um, tricky sometimes because it's unpredictable. I think that's the problem. I've had many patients that could do absolutely fine with not a side effect at all. Um, and then some patients with mucositis, which can be quite debilitating. Um, that's more rare, but in the study, two thirds of the patients had some sort of mucositis. Um, the way that our clinical trials are now, you don't really know for how long they have it. So if you have grade one or two mucositis for a couple of weeks, that's obviously kind of difficult. And some of my patients do have that. Um, in my experience, if you do hold the drug or lower the dose, um, those symptoms can easily resolve. Um, but I think in general, the rare but serious side effects are something to be noted. Uh, fatigue is also an issue that you'll see. One thing I'd like to bring up is we just uh, submitted a manuscript in which I'm the lead author as a subgroup analysis on the uh, Radiant 3 trial. Um, because of the whole issue of prior chemotherapy versus a chemo-naive patient. So if you look at Radiant 1, patients who uh, had all progressed on chemotherapy with, uh, with the monotherapy, they only went 9.7 months compared to about 15 months when they, or 16 months nearly 17 when they were on the combination therapy. So it, it raised the question whether or not patients who had been uh, having prior exposure to chemotherapy might not respond as long to everolimus as patients who uh, were chemo naive. And in fact, in the Radiant 3 trial, where we were in a randomized blinded situation, it turns out that the response between the chemo naive and the chemo experienced patients was identical. And the time to progression was as well. So we feel we can use it equally well in patients who have had prior chemotherapy and progressed. Right.